What if I told you that you are missing out on about 5-10% to extra coins on about every single auction you have made in Madden 22? No, I'm being serious. I'm talking about selling at unfiltered prices or another term that I like to use for that, lazy selling. Beautiful thing about lazy selling or selling at unfiltered prices too is it can never really be patched or nerfed. Unlike sets, unlike coin making methods, it's going on forever. The prices are just going to adjust. This will work with pretty much every single overall, I'd say about 85 overall and higher. But of course, you can do this with 80 to 84s. It's just the gain is very minimal and just not really worth the time. The process for this is going to be very, very simple, but it's something you must do every time or something you should look to do every single time you go to sell a player. I'll pick a 94 overall, for example. Here, this is 94 overall at the Marcus Robson Sugar Rush, who I've been picking up for about 40,000 coins the week prior. If I go look up this 94 overall Demarcus Robinson, just from the binder right LB, you see only Demarcus Robinson, you'll find the lowest price about 45K, you'll sometimes see 45, 47, 46K on this 94 Demarcus Robinson. But by selling at its unfiltered price, you should be able to get around 50, maybe even 51, 52,000 coins for this 94 overall sugar rush player to find this number all you are going to do is just only look up the 94 to 95 filter you're not going to sort by program you're not going to sort by position and you're going to see what is the cheapest price wise for 94 overall of course if you want to find 95 or if you scroll down a little if you want to go to 96 97 uh, put in that filter but for the 94 95 we're simply looking at the cheapest 94 overall really at the unfiltered price it being about 50 to 51,000 coins you kind of see the first two uh, rows being 50 to 51k and this is because there are so many cards at these overalls that the newest listings like for example sugar rush to marcus robinson which is like 45k they will not show up until 45 minutes have passed on the filter you see the newest card being listed at 14 to 15 minutes on this unfiltered price where after about that 45 minutes go by a lot of the cheaper cards are just going to get bought leaving kind of the inflated prices to show up on the auction house so when someone is looking for a 94 to 95 overall to buy for training maybe they only want 19,000 training maybe they're looking for a 94 overall for a certain set or they just want 94 overall for their team if they don't filter down through the programs through the positions they're going to see the cheapest 94 overalls up at 50,000 coins thinking it's the cheapest card on the auction house now there are two rules to unfiltered selling there are two rules the first being the cards have to be training value what i mean by this is they have to be the cheapest kind of price for that select overall, which is a lot of cards. There's not many cards that go for above that kind of training value. Of course, 94 being 50K, I'd say 95s, for example, probably around the 55K mark. 96s are like, I'd say 95 to 100K. And the other rule to this is it has to be during the day or when cards are being listed. Because again, the only reason this works is when a lot of cards are posted onto that filter to where it's so filled up that only the 15 minute mark and lower will actually show up on the block. If you're doing this at three o'clock in the morning, most likely the, the newest listings at the 59th minute will be listed and you'll see those Demarcus Robinson cards up for 45 and 47K. And to show you some examples, I have been doing this pretty much all week with my 94 overall Sugar Rush cards. Now the other day, these were going for like 52, 53, even 54,000 coins. I've been pretty successful when it comes to unfiltered selling with these 94 Sugar Rush players that I picked up earlier in the week. And if your cards, let's say, all sell for the first time, but don't sell for the second time you do list, you're going to have to look up that price because the difference between 500 coins being a little bit cheaper is really the, the difference between 15 cards selling and only five cards selling. On the opposite spectrum though, if you list up all 20 cards, for example, you have 20 94s, you list them all at the 20 unfiltered price and all 20 of them sell, you might wanna look to sell maybe at like 250 coins more or 500 coins more, try to squeeze out that extra profit on each of your cards. But really the best thing about this is that it works for pretty much every single overall and it's a pretty simple process to find that unfiltered price. It takes two to three minutes really to find every unfiltered price for every single overall you can use this to get extra coins from your packs from your sets from your reels but you can also turn this into a coin making method by simply filtering down on the 94 overall sugar rush players you'll see Derek barnes right there 37k i eventually picked that up but you'll see guys in the 40 to 42 case when you know that you, these cards will sell for that 50k unfiltered price of course if you want to do it as a coin making method you are going to have to buy kind of 20 at a time to actually make a substantial profit because you're only probably profiting two to three thousand coins after tax when you do kind of flip these cards so times that by 20 you're looking at 40 to 50k profit per hour on some of these cards but that's going to be all for the video today unfiltered selling you should try to incorporate it into pretty much every single card you do pull or at least try to on the expensive cards because you can be getting five to ten percent on every card instead of 45 instead of selling for 45k you can be selling for 50k instead of selling for 200k you can be selling for 215 works on pretty much every single overall as long as the player is at that training discard price per 
that specific overall. But again, that's all for this video. Comment if you have any questions, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace.